up if you want to, but come get that faster. Oh, yeah. What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on what I believe is the finest original Trail 90 in existence today. I've never seen a better one. If you know of one, please put a link in the description to the video of it because this is an absolute once in a blue moon, once in a lifetime special. Bought brand new by Harold's Honor of B&H Cycles in Bakersfield, California. As you can see, it's still got the plate on there. Still got the original DMV certificate right there and all the paperwork for it. If you follow the channel, you know that we just purchased Harold's entire collection. Uh, he had passed away about nine years ago. And uh, in the video at his house, this was in his living room with the green shag carpeting from the 70s, original green shag carpeting. When, when, when we bought it back to the shop, the technician that, that opened this, you know, opened the fuel tank up to see, see you know, the condition and start getting it ready for uh, being restarted. He said he's never seen a fuel tank that had dust inside of it. He said there was never, there, he had drained the fuel when he parked, parked it. The inside of the tank was spotless, just had a little bit of dust in it. So he rinsed out the tank, um, went right through it. But uh, 275 original miles. Cosmetically, this thing is 100% original and absolutely pristine. Why? Because Bakersfield, California is a very arid, high and dry. Uh, they don't have winters there like we do in Connecticut. And it's got 275 one owner miles on it. And he was a motorcycle aficionado collector. He had knuckleheads, panheads, shovel heads, Honda CBXs, and some other beautiful Hondas, including a VTX 1800 trike and a two wheeler, which will be rolling out soon. But this Trail 90 he purchased for him and his wife to, to ride around the neighborhood. And he used it for a couple of years and then decided he wanted to put it in his personal collection. So he took the fuel out of it, took the battery out of it, fogged the cylinder, and parked it in his living room where it stayed for the last, well, almost 50 years so the bike's 53 years old and uh look at the chrome on it i mean we just listen there's some restored bikes out there that look pretty nice but when i said show me a finer one show me a finer original one with th this low miles so th the technician that worked on it adjusted the valves fogged the cylinder before we started it to oil it put a new spark plug in it uh cleaned the carburetor put a new intake gasket on it put a new air filter in it, got it running, changed the engine oil, and it's absolutely perfect. Oh, he also put fuel in it. We're using VP ethanol free fuel. Well, the first time we, I test rode it, the original tires, the, the original 52 year old tires had great tread on them, but they were hard as a rock and they were starting to um, get some dry checking in it. So we put a brand new set of original style trials tires. You can see they still have the hairy nubs on it and what a difference that made. Um, the other ones had no, they, they weren't uh, soft and supple like these brand new 2024 tires are. And the technology on the tires has gotten a little bit better in the compounds. It just handles like a dream. Guys, this thing has a dual range transmission and it's very easy to switch it. I was in low range going up and down the driveway. Very easy to switch it to high range. You just take this little switch right here and flick it back to high. Very easy to do. And it has a heel toe shifter. It's a three speed transmission, so three down. And, uh, of course, it's really six speed because you have two ranges, right? But um, that's the original chain. Check out the chain on this thing. That's the original chain. It's for the original sprockets, original everything. The uh, aluminum shines beautifully on the engine cases. Of course, there's no oil leaks or any issues like that because it's basically a brand new motorcycle that was in a time capsule. Said guys, this is the finest, lowest mile, one owner original we've ever had through the museum here. It'll be on display in the museum on the second floor. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for the best one in the, in the United States, this is it. Just hit the buy it now. This is a bike I'd, a best friend or family member, I'd be proud for them to have it. Um, the only blemishes I saw anywhere on the motorcycle was, and it's pretty common, this plastic, um, this plastic cover right here has a small crack in it, probably from the odds of time, I really don't know. And the paint right here looks like his, his boot inner boot was rubbing on there a tiny bit. Other than that, um, the upholstery, the chrome, the grips, the levers. Oh, there is a brand new battery in it too. 
Um, there's a, a little tiny um, blem on the paint on the fender right here, a little ding right there. But I, I literally just noticed that, and I've been looking at the bike for, for well, a month. Um, so, and it's been through the detail shop. Carlos cleaned it, gave it what we call a rotisserie detail, and uh, steam cleaned it, hand washed it, put a coat of Carnuba wax on it, and it's ready for the showroom. That's all it needed. So, if you have any questions, give us a call at 860 454 7024. We would uh, offer We have our financing in house, and if you want to ship it, we can ship it for you anywhere in the world. Show, show them the, the VIN plaque on the, on the frame here. It's just nothing like a factory fresh or uh, 52 year old or is it it's 50 53 year old now 53 year old plastic so absolute diamond a lot of fun to ride so truly one of the diamonds of the Zoner collection along with all his other uh, beautiful bikes so far they've all checked out beautifully he's a guy who really knew his stuff he he owned a motorcycle shop of course he did he was a lifetime aficionado oh, rookie move turn the key a lifetime aficionado of world-class motorcycles and this is truly a world-class trail 90 they, they don't get any better than this bit high and bit often once this one's gone you'll never find one this nice again I don't think Trying to go up the hill in third gear. I've got to get a downshift. Remember, uh, it's different than most motorcycles. Pushing down shifts up. Pushing on the back puts you in the lower gears. So it's in neutral right now. So if you want to go, just click it in gear and go. It takes a little getting used to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's super slick. No clutch. I forgot to add that, there's no clutch. So if you don't know how to ride a motorcycle, this is, or if you're an older dude and you want a bike that's easy to get on or off, these step-throughs are nice. Oh, and these bars fold down too. You pull this lever up and they fold down so you can fit it in the back of your car. Cool classic. Her's like a kitten.